the first plant is going to be begonia. Begonias are native to moist subtropical and tropical climates such as South and Central America, Africa, and Southern Asia. Begonias are commonly grown indoors as ornamental houseplants in cooler climates. Few of these will tolerate full sun, especially in warmer climates. Many begonias will grow and flower year-round. Next is Caladium. Caladiums are native to South America and Central America and naturalized in India, parts of America, and various tropical islands such as the Philippines. Caladiums grow to 15 to 35 inches tall with leaves mostly 6 to 18 inches long and broad. They require moderate watering. Most prefer partial to full shade. Make sure you leave at least half inch of the soil onto the pot so you can fully make space for water. Next is the snake plants. Snake plants are native to tropical West Africa from Nigeria east to the Congo. It is an evergreen perennial plant. Its leaves mature dark green with light gray green cross banding and usually range from 28 to 35 inches long. Snake plants exchanges oxygen and carbon dioxide which allows them to withstand drought. Next are succulents. Succulents, the word succulent comes from the Latin word succus, means juice. Most potted succulents are able to grow in most indoor environments with minimal care. Other than Antarctica, Succulents can be found within each continent. Most succulents come from the deserts. And that is why succulents need to little to no care. Succulents are now used as an ornamental plant. It is very popular as a house plant because of its tolerance of high and low levels of light and irregular watering. It will rot easily if overwatered. Next is aloe vera. It originates from the Arabian Peninsula but grows wild in tropical climates around the world. Aloe veras are cultivated for agricultural and medicinal uses. Aloe gel typically is used to make medications for skin conditions such as burns, wounds, frostbites, rushes, psoriasis, cold sores, and dry skin. Succulents are compact plants by nature. Make sure your succulents get enough light because they love light and they need about six hours of sun per day. If yours is sitting in the same spot day after day, it is likely that the only one side is getting enough light. Just like us, succulents need more energy when they are in a period of growth. When I am in need of a break from technology or social media, this is my way to connect with nature. I've always had a green thriving thumb because of my mom. She loves plants just as much as I do. Next succulent is called Tupsy Turvy. 
This succulent is distinguishable with its long gray-green leaves, which grow outward but curve backwards. It is typically blooms its orange-yellow flowers in the fall. This next succulent is called Sedum clavatium. It is a succulent with small pink and white flowers that is native to South Africa. Usually, these succulents don't need much water or sunlight. If your plant starts to rotten, make sure you grab a scissor and trim them. Just like our hairs, it needs trimming too. Next is the polka dot plant. This plant provides good lighting. You have to water it regularly and fertilize it monthly. This handsome must-have plant is called Little Fiddle. It produces similar dark green lyre. It makes a great accent plant in many brightly lit room of your home. This is another type of caladium, a heart-shaped plant. Money trees is a plant that has many legends and beliefs originating from China. Arrowhead is one of the most ornamental heart-shaped plant. Next is going to be scallions. Scallions are also known as onion leaves. Scallions need rich, well-draining soil because of its shallow root. It requires constant moisture and weed protection. Did you guys know that this is my fourth time harvesting the scallions? It grows really quick day by day and it does the job when you take care of it. It is good to spice things up when you're eating food. That's why we harvest them all the time. And by the way, these are outdoor plants. They're not supposed to be inside the house. All right guys, let me squeeze in this build your own or unboxing this plant stand that I bought from Ikea the other day. It's a three layered plant stand that has bamboo finish in it and I automatically fell in love with it just the first time I saw it. It's like my heart went, oops, I want that, like right now. So after building my bed, I think this is going to be easy for me because it's not that much to assemble. I've come to realize that I am independent when it comes to building stuff. Like I can do everything on my own just as much as guys do. Like yes, man power or woman power. Both are equal. Yes? And for those of you who are wondering why I'm wearing a hat right now, it's because I have a bad hair day. It can be very challenging when it comes to building stuff. You have to really read, read the instructions carefully. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. 